Hello and welcome to episode 20. Yeah, 20. I think. Yeah, yeah, brain check. I think, pretty sure that's 20. Yeah. So, I said we would be working on the Guardian Temple this episode, but we aren't. Nope. Um, I figure I'll just work on that off camera because now it's just lots more repetitive stuff because... Yeah, so, I'll show you if anything interesting happens on it, but right now, nothing really has happened on it because I've been away, away at college orientations so yeah I actually they haven't played for a little bit so yeah um but now I'm back I am back running circles on the fountain all right let's flip around um cows are done din 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 Sorry if this is a bit laggy. I might be on your side. Uh, I don't know on my side. Let's just kill off these cows. Um, but it's not going to be laggy for long. So. Okay, that's it. Don't really have the wheat. I'll breed those guys back up later. But I'm just, you know, passively trying to get some food going. Um, alright, let's toss these in there. Let's take these nether bricks out. And toss them all in the chest. Got some crap on me. So let's go to the stone chest. That's... Yep. And I think stone bricks right there. And stone brick variants. Sand. Sand I knows. Over here. And dirt. That chest. Then the leather leather. Um leather. Because right now I have a stack in a bit of beef, but um I do have some well I have some serve food in my ender chest. Um, yeah, right there. Actually, should get another ender chest going. That so blaze, blaze powder. Eye of ender. Jump, jump, jump. Obsidian is zoop. All right, that's that. On a quick. Uh, yep, and ender chest for the road. Alright, so today I think we'll be doing something around town. When I figure out what that something is, I'll bring y'all back. So, see ya in a bit. Alright, so I kind of figured out what I'm going to be doing today. This little eyesore that we have over here that is the, you know, um... Auto farm, or, well, you know, place where I get all my crops that, like wheat, carrots, potatoes. Yeah, it's going away. Um, because I think we're going to move on to something bigger and better. All right, let's take these out. Let's, oop, um. I'm just going to leave the redstone component for now because I'm going to need to remember how to build it and I might not. Um, so we're going to destroy this house though because don't need it anymore. Little box. And yeah, I'm not too worried about patching up this house because it's going to probably go away um, fairly shortly. Um, yeah. So, 
Ooh. Yeah, that's going to probably be next step. Um. All right, so mostly cleaned up, but um, we are actually going to be rebuilding this. Um, let's not put water down. Over here where these trees are, um, I did not think this one through. Let's cut down these trees these saplings so then let's cut down the tree and actually it's probably going to be made out of oak so it's a majority but I have a really cool idea for the roof and I'll show you that when we get building the actual building around it um because yeah it's a little complicated to explain let's throw a pearl up there um, let's look around for a few more wood. I know, I know it's boop. Um, but yeah, so it's checking around for some more wood. Um, All right, that sh that part clear. Then I know I have this little part. All right, so that should mean the leaves be decaying now. Um, so yeah, um, that's that. Um, area is going to be prepped. When I come back, I'm going to look over that thing very carefully then build it back again then I'll come back and show you what I built and yeah so I'll see you all right so got the farm back up and running built it out of a little nicer material just stone it's working don't have any bone meal in it right now um that will change have these torches here um lined up in where the building configuration will go and it's almost nighttime so i'm gonna sleep away in the night come back with some building blocks um and we're going to get work to work on this building so i shall see you in a bit oh wait i'm not going to see you in a bit because i forgot to tell you this is if you didn't know this is impulse is sv's um nano farm um link is in the description and yeah it's very bone meal hungry um and i'll mention i have a skeleton farm um, um that i can use to get all of the bones so nothing cheaty going on here so yeah now i'll see you in a bit all right so um like i said i'm i wanted to do the roof um i came up with this pretty cool idea for a roof and i already built it in a creative world so yeah uh let's start with that and this is what one two up one more and yeah all right that works so we're going to need a pearl onto that uh or pillar up it doesn't really matter let's grab some pillaring blocks stone's not the most ideal pillaring block but it will do so we're going to actually go to this side a bit and that's just a temporary slab get that back because sandstone is oh wait no no we're not doing it on that level um, we're doing it on this level. So these two blocks will go there. Um, crap. That's going to have to go like that first. Um, so let's get one little side done 
first. So we're going to run, actually it'd probably be cool as a beam. So let's do a little beam across. Um, all right, looking good, looking good. Then we're going to need to get up there somehow. So stone pillar, we'll just uh, make a little temporary staircase for now since we're going to be up and down a little bit. Um, this level we're going to go one, two, like so. Then um, up one, oop. Well, that works. One, two, three. Slot these in there. Um, run back up again. Let's see. So, boom, ah, boom, boom. All right. It's a lot more challenging to build in survival um, than it is in creative. So door, door's going to be here. What if we move that beam down one or the roof up one? Actually, that's a lot of work. Um, to move it up one, but I think you'd see more of the oak wood and I think it'd look really good So I'm going to do that off camera and bring you guys back All right, so got the kind of first layer um, All around and it's pretty much just the same thing over and over again um, but Yeah, it works So the next thing can take these torches out now. It was nighttime when I was building, didn't want anything to spawn up here, so let's pop those down. Um, so let's put these down first. And sorry if it's a bit laggy on your end. Um, I don't think it is, but it kind of feels a little bit laggy on my end. Um, so, but, um, yes, we're just going to be making kind of a little cross pattern with slabs. I forget which. All right, so, I think, um, we're just going to go like, Make a cross in the middle, like so. Um, then I think it just fill in the rest. Yeah, like that. Then in each corner, you're going to want to place like this, like that. So get this little design going on. Then here, going to obviously want to do that. And then I think, yeah, fill it in a little bit. Then just come along like that. So bang, fill it in. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. And it's a kind of, like once you get the pattern down, it's pretty easy to do. Um, but it's your kind of easy, you know, really epic roof. Um, so yeah, put a torch on top. Let's not have a torch, and a lot of the space is not spawnable, like here, here, here. Like, there's not too much because this obviously covers this area, probably down into this area, you know, so pretty safe little area. Now, 
we get to work on the fun part. Um, the build. Obviously, I think I might do some other stuff, but um, with like I might like cover it at this level. I think um, with maybe stone slabs. Yeah, stone slabs are nice for like an inner roof because they're not too noticeable. So probably probably come back and cover it stone slabs. But first, um, we got some digging to do. Let's just dig all this to that edge out. Um, to that. Um, yeah. We're just going to be placing some nice birch floors in. We can like so. Um, yeah. Boom. No, this is a little boring, but hey, uh, I guess I can give you story time. So story time. Well, you know how Steam has their little summer sales and whatnot? Well, you see, there's this game, Ark, Survi Ark Survival Evolved. Looked like a very fun game. Um, and so I decided I'm going to purchase this game. Um, let's make a few more sticks. Like that's nope other way um yeah so i i bought this game and i'm like this looks like a fun game i kind of want to play it hopefully i can record videos on it and you know i went to my usual you know you make sure you can run these games website um and it's like yeah you meet the minimum requirements so I'm like, awesome. So bought the game. Um, then turns out, yes, I can run the game at like two frames a second. So yeah, unfortunately, can't play it. It's unplayable by me. All right, that's yeah, that's a bit long. So. Do that and ooh, we can put another. I don't have any more oak wood. Let's go grab some more. Ender purpose for the win. Oak, oak, oak. Alright, so. Yeah. Um, let's see. Let's put you there. Um, let's, let's finish up this side first. Boom, boom, boom. Um, actually on this side, I think I'll have, <sighs> come on. Ah, eh, stupid, never mind. Does that look? If the roof came out one more, it might look okay, but it doesn't, so we shall leave it for now. But, yes, um, so that's unfortunate that I cannot play Ark Survival even by myself. But hopefully, within the next few months, I shall get a computer that is good enough. Um, to play it. So, yeah. On a more happy note, um, I also bought Spin Tires, which is a game about off-roading. Um, let's do, you know, these windows again. Um, and yes, you drive vehicles around, and it's tremendous amounts of fun. And I was playing that earlier today, in fact, and having a ball. All right, so let's do like a 
Now they're just window. End window. Let's run a beam and another beam. All right, so yeah, that's my story. Those are my stories about Steam and their summer sale. Um, so, um, I was wondering if you do a little bit of leg there, um, guys had any, um, preferences in, I think I might, you know, either do a series on, um, spin tires because my computer seemed to handle it quite well, quite well indeed. Um, and yeah, so, ooh, looking good, looking good. Let's in fact make a few stone buttons for, for a few wooden buttons just to see how they compare against each other. Um, in terms of like putting something there um nah, it's same ooh um actually probably some wooden trap doors could help um in certain places like thinking maybe What's that yeah it adds a little bit more depth I was thinking maybe there or like yeah and maybe take some buttons it's very square at the front I think um yeah I mean it's not too big of a deal we can just put some more lighting um I think I'll put some like chest here like, and yeah so this builds come together quite nicely and ooh, some bushes might do it. Um so nah those aren't let's see. I do have a few of these. I can put like a torch here and here. Yeah. Those definitely help. Eh, whoops. Um I wonder, so, if we can put, like, ooh, that, that helps, and we can just, like, e. and then we can take, yeah, I was thinking about, like, making log cabin ish but nah um but maybe some buttons on it will help yeah i think some buttons on these sides um um then maybe a couple of trap doors to kind of you know give it a little more depth Oops. Got that block. Will definitely enhance the build. Very symmetrical, which, you know, it's, it's not too bad in every once in a while. All right, let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Yeah, six. Six. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I only needed four more. Whoops. Yeah. 
That works. That definitely works. All right, so I'll finish getting these details in, then bring you guys back. All right, so I'm here with just a few finishing touches. Decided to put a few planters out in front, maybe with a poppy, since I have a lot of those. I also decided to make a nice little path out and put some gravel and some bushes in front of the um, cow farm. And now the nano farm has got its nice little path out too. So, yeah. Um, but just was one little thing I wanted to do. Take an item frame. Now an empty map and... Ooh. Um, All right, I think that's how you do it. All right, so what's that? Five. Ah. I'm gonna, apparently, there's a trick. Um. Where you can do I saw this trick where you could put little maps, um, like, if you didn't, yeah, I want to kind of figure that out, so, I might look up that trick, um, but where you could put the map in the item frame, and, it would actually, you know, um, if it was a blank map, it would, you know, kind of expand, expand out to cover the whole thing. But, I mean, I guess that's going to be fine for now. Um, maybe. But I guess there's one last thing to do. Shall we test it with some wheat? Oh, got to turn it on. Ah, uh, yep, it's working. And how are you? I was talking to my fan because it blew a piece of paper from, like, across the room. Now, this isn't, like, the greatest farm. Well, I think it's actually a pretty fast farm, considering. Um, you don't always get a lot of wheat in. Sorry. I bumped my mic. Um, yeah, but certainly not too fast. And actually, you know, maybe about what? That's 10 times 9 times 3. So 90 times 3 would be 180. 270 bone meal? Okay, yeah. That's actually quite a bit of bone meal. Um, but have a bunch of bones stockpiled up, um, but got a bunch of wheat. Um, so we can go, you know, breed cows whenever we feel like it, like now. We can just be like, breed up, you cows, breed. Breeding, 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 breeding. Quite a few cows now. Um... But yeah, so our nano farm is complete, and um, you know it's a little another shop building for the city. So yeah, it's coming together um, every episode, I guess. So yeah, so I've been Bobo. Little I've been Bobo. This has been episode twenty of Bobo's World, and. And if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. If you have any comments, there's a comment section for that. And I shall see y'all later.